What's up YouTube? I'm back after the summer and in today's video we'll look at five new features Beyond has released in 2022. Have they gotten a new head of product or something? It seems like to impress the investors we need to release a lot of new shiny bells and whistles. Let's take a deep dive into some of them to see what's good, what's bad. Let's jump in. This first feature is super cool. You have your media library inside the studios. So inside the workspace, you can access your videos and all the scenes and assets from any animation video you've ever made in your entire life. First, you have all the folders that you can access, go into those, or you can access individual videos like this one. These are some graphics I made. And if I want to access one scene from that video, I can just add it to a blank scene just add another scene or enter into my asset overview of all the assets in this video and there's that dog that also appeared in the previous scene. Easy way to access old stuff in a very easy way without having to open two tabs and uh, copy paste. So this is my strong scripts course. You can also access a lot of videos and individual assets from all those course lessons. This course took a while to create, so it's pretty cool to be able to reuse these things if I think that I created a nice setup that I want to use in another video. We'll add another blank scene because now I want to introduce the next feature. That is image search. You see this little photo icon uh, that you can use to search. You could search with words, but now you can also upload an image and search the libraries using that image using AI. So let's upload this picture of a dog and see if Beyond can find any templates with dogs. No, they couldn't. What happens if you search with text? Yes, there are a couple of templates for, uh, for dogs and uh, would probably have been faster just to type dog. But uh, it's there, it's AI, so therefore it's automatically cool. Let's search for props using this AI dog. This works a little bit better. Now I'm uploading the dog image and you can see Beyond found 16 results that match the dog image. What happens if I search with words? A lot more. So why don't you just use the keyboard? It's much faster. I don't know what the reason is for this little feature, but uh, yeah, it's okay. I actually wanted to uh, upload a robot dog made in Beyond. So let's see if they can match one-to-one -one an asset that is actually inside the libraries. No, no matching results for flying robot dog, even though the file name says flying robot dog. So robot dog is there if you search. So my recommendation is to still use your fingers and your keyboard to find assets. The next cool newly released feature is color palette detection. So if you upload a dog, you can actually detect the colors in that picture with AI. Upload a, an image and have Beyond detect the colors on that image. So I use the dog image and there it is, green and orange and brown and green and orange. So five different colors detected and you can use those to create assets around the, the photo so it looks real. Let's see if it, how exact it actually is. So I have a, um, I wanna create some squares and create my little color palette scene. You might know that from my courses or my other videos. What happens if I want to know, or if I want to detect colors from a brand guide Let's see if Beyond can detect the exact colors. So what I'll do is that I'll upload the brain guide uh, to Beyond and uh, make it auto detect the colors. So I'll find it again, grinning colors, uploading, and it finds the right colors. That's great. But let's see if the hex codes match the exact colors uh, that they should because it's pretty important that you use the exact colors uh, of your client's brain guide or of your own brain guide. And uh, let's see how close we get here. So as you can see, they look pretty similar. They are very, very close. But uh, if you are a perfectionist and super, super professional uh, about your explainer videos, you want the hex codes, hex codes to match exactly. So now I'm uploading the same Im image so we can see if they actually match. So the, the pink one, is uh, the first one we'll check and see if it matches that little code that is at the bottom of the pink color. So EFC 6C0, EFC 8C3. It doesn't match, right? Let's see the brown color. Uh, 94673D, 
956A3E and the green doesn't match and the black also doesn't match. So none of these colors actually ma match the exact hex codes even though they are super super close. If I just crop away the, the right side of the thing you can see that they are actually very very close to, to an exact match. So if you're not a perfectionist you could probably use these shades of colors and uh, have them be your your grinning client colors. But uh, what I will still do until this feature is perfect is to just go in and choose or enter the exact hex code for, for example, the brown color 95C, uh, 95683E. So it matches 100% instead of uh, close enough. Next new feature we'll check out is the mic recording feature where you record a voiceover inside Vyond and use the speech enhancer to make it sound even better. Let's give it a spin. My name is Ruud Rees and this voiceover is recorded inside Vyond. That is a pretty cool feature in and of itself. But what does voice enhancement do? That's a new feature. Let's check it out. All right, cool. That is our test voiceover. Let's listen back to it without speech enhancer. My name is Ruud Rees and this voiceover is recorded inside Vyond. That is a pretty cool feature in and of itself. But what does voice enhancement do? That's a new feature. Let's check it out. One thing to notice is that the gain becomes lower and lower. The volume of this voiceover becomes lower and lower throughout the recording. And this is one thing that this speech enhancer can fix. And this takes a while for the small robots to fix. So while we wait, the enhancing speech quality is in progress. We will just add a character and make him lip sync to this voiceover I just recorded to see how well his lips move to the sound. And this is one thing that this speech enhancer also enhances and makes better. Now the Dolby AI thing is done and we'll just assign the audio to this guy so he will do the lip sync and then listen back. My name is Ruud Rees and this voiceover is recorded inside Vyond. That is a pretty cool feature in and of itself. But what does voice enhancement do? That's a new feature. Let's check it out. Let's quickly toggle off the speech enhancer so you can hear the difference. My name is Ruud Rees and this voiceover is recorded inside Vyond. That is a pretty cool feature in and of itself. But what does voice enhancement do? That's a new feature. Let's check it out. If you ask me, I think uh, these two options are equally good. The first one has a more naturally sounding voice and the second one equalizes the volume so it's the same throughout, which is pretty great. Now I'm adding some text to uh, two blank scenes to show you the fifth and last feature that I didn't really notice that Vyond improved, but uh, this is pretty important to me. You know, I don't really like these shiny new bells and whistles. I like when Vyond improves upon old core functionality like the one we are talking about now. So the ability to bulk, uh, bulk change with asset view has only been uh, something you could do to props and uh, characters and stuff. You couldn't do it to text across scenes. Now you can highlight a lot of different texts and make them all the same font in one go. And this is, is much more huge for me as a creator than all these other things we've talked about. So being able to align fonts across an entire video in one click with asset view is so much more important than all these other things we've been talking about. Now it's your turn to jump into Vyond Studios and give them all a spin. See if it's something you can use in your video productions. Have fun. See you in the next one.